Vlog Squad, it's your boy Inquisitive Logan back in with another video. So mommy just did my hair, so check it out you guys. Alrighty guys, so it's Logan's mom here. Uh, we're starting off taking out these two braids that he had in his hair um, for like the last two days. He's about due for a haircut, but um, I like to do the braids first before uh, we go to the barbershop. So that's what I'm doing here, just taking out the braids. And he is already complaining about <laughs> how it hurts. He's a little tender headed. But luckily, I am a licensed massage therapist. So as many times as I'm able to massage his head, I do just so that he can feel less tension. He's got his YouTube going on his iPhone there, so he's able to also be a little distracted. The apartment that we have doesn't have one of those little hoses that come out of the sink, so I'm using a cup there to, um, you know, saturate his hair after I shampoo it. This time we used a different shampoo. Um, Logan said he liked the smell of this one, so I let him try it. It's actually by... Garnier Fructis. Um, it was a gift, so we were using that. It really does have a really good smell. Like, it's really kind of fruity. Um, but it smells really good. So, here we are saturating the hair. I washed it two times. Um, saturating it with more water. I'm just trying to get all of it in there. He only has like that long length of hair just at the top there. So it's not in the back and it's not at the bottom. But of course, we're still washing, you know, the sides that are tapered either way. But the bulk of the shampoo, of course, is at the top. So there's the bottle there, the fruit teas. It says something about it's promoting um, strong growth. So that's what it says on the bottle. And um, I really love how his hair has been growing anyway. We've actually used a uh, black-owned product. I will have to find it for you. We ran out. That's how, you know, um, much we used it. Um, but I don't remember the name, so I have to get for you. It's, like, called Curl, Curly something. Go get it. What's it called? Logan's going to go get it so I can tell y'all what it's called. Um... We don't have hardly any left, so that's why I'm using the fruit teas until we go get some more. And what we had that we were using was actually um, a gift as well. <laughs> so we've actually had never heard of the brand, um, but it's for, like, kinky hair. And here it is. It's called, oh, Uncle Funky's Daughter. That's what we have been using. It's um, Super Curl by Unky, Uncle Funky's Daughter. Um, that's what we were using. But now, as you can see, that's the fruit teas that we're using. Grow Strong. This is the conditioner part. I'm conditioning it after having washed it twice. Um, massaging the temples, of course. Trying to get as less or as much tension off of his head as possible. I love the way his hair is growing. It's so kinky, curly. It's literally, like, just beautiful. You know, he hasn't had any kind of product in it other than you know shampoo conditioner or maybe like a grease or something <laughs> what up, <boys? laughs> all right so now we're blow drying this is the part that he doesn't really like i don't know what kid does i don't even really like to get my hair blow dried it's annoying it's hot um with logan's hair being very thick um i tried to like hold it in little ponytails and um poor baby he's talking about some owl <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's so cute i tried to hold it in little ponytails and and blow dry it from the bottom to the top so the bottom that's what i'm doing now just trying to get the bottom straight then i could work my way to the roots of his head he's like over it by now it's like okay mom this hurts it's, it's hot and my baby, he don't like to be, <laughs> he just keeps saying ow. He don't like to be hot. So, you know, this is also a double negative for him. 
I gotta give him some kisses because he's so mad at mommy. <laughs> Little rubber nose. Okay, so here, this is my go-to style. Oh, he was mad because he wanted to wear his hair in a bush. But his hair is getting really, really long now. And it, it's not as controllable for him to just go to school with a bush. He comes home and it's all, like, matted and stuff. So I'm not matted, but, like, kind of pressed down. And it doesn't look, look very nice. So, um... You know, sometimes he can he can rock the uh, afro, but it has to be like as soon as he's done washing his hair or something. Um, since we blow dried it, you know that that wouldn't work. But um, so right now, this is my go-to style. Um, it was about to be. It was actually his bath time. We, we were running a little bit late. Um, so this is the go-to style. It's something that looks like it takes forever, but it doesn't. I'm basically doing four braids with um, four. Uh, zigzag parts so you know just something that's quick but looks like it's not quick if that makes sense you know i was kind of breezing through this um so i started in the middle because i want to make sure that it's symmetrical on both sides so you know i start with the zigzags uh, the first zigzag going right through the middle just continuing it all the way down to the back i'm going to section it, section off one side uh with the rubber band and then just kind of pull the other side to make sure it's right in the center. Yes, we're good. So now I'm going to split this one so that this side so that I can make it into two. And I'm not trying to do that zigzag any way, shape, or form like the other zigzag or in the same direction as the other zigzag. I actually tried to make it opposite, if that makes sense. And for some reason it came out like it wasn't. I don't know. <laughs> Basically, I just wanted to make sure that they were like the same size. Like I wouldn't do a tiny zigzag on one side and a big zigzag on the other. But at the same time, if one started to the left, I was trying to make the other one maybe go to the right. So uh, it's the beauty of, you know, doing hair, man. It's, it's just a beautiful thing, especially with... His beautiful hair. I tell him all the time he has such beautiful hair. If I hadn't, uh, you know, relaxed and cut and colored my hair, my hair would be just as beautiful as his. So I just want to let him know to, you know, um, keep it this way and, you know, take care of it so they can keep being as healthy as it is. And he absolutely loves his hair. He loves to wear it out. But seeing as I was getting a little bit too long and too coarse or too thick, you know, um, it's not as manageable to wear out when he has the size and the bottom tapered. So here we go. I'm starting with the first cornrow. Now, this cornrow is very important to make sure for me. I wanted to make sure that no matter how much space was in that particular row, I put the cornrow as closely down to the taper side as I could away from the zigzag part. So the zigzag part is right there in the middle beside the ponytail and I made the cornrow go as close to the tapered side as possible because remember this is a braided man bun if you go on google you can find the style by just typing in braided man bun so um I wanted to put it all the way down because I knew it was going to be in a bun anyway you know so I wanted to also bring it around to the back in the middle just to make sure we're able to put it right there in the center for a good good little bun so I'm going to start on the second cornrow here. Now, this one is cool to be in the center. Um, you don't have to try to braid this one close to the edge. Um, so, yeah, start in the cornrow. And we're going to center this one since it's one of the middle ones. Poor baby was getting tired. I know he was. He was a... Uh, watching his YouTube videos, but this is usually the time in which we get him ready for bed, he gets in the bathtub, and things like that, so he was winded down, had a big dinner, was kind of ready to go to bed. Alright, so um, I combined the two, because I think the less, the, the less braids that you have to put in the bun, the easier it is. So the two braids on one side, I combine those two, and I'm going to do the same on this side. Remember, this outside braid is going to be as close to the edge as possible, the edge of the tapered side. So I'm going to continue to braid it. Poor baby tender-headed, and poor mommy is heavy-handed. But I got to get them right. 
He got some beautiful hair. Love, 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 love his hair. So we're cornrowing that thing all the way around because we want it to be in the center. I'm just going to circle it on out. Look how easy the style is, y'all. Four braids, zigzag parts. That's it. So now this one is going to be just in the center, just this last one. He said, is this the last one, Mommy? <laughs> it's going to be right there in the center. Last one, baby. Hold on. We got it. Almost there. Almost there. Ow. Mommy, ow. Ow, Mommy. Hurry up. It hurts. Get off of me. <laughs> All right. So, almost done to the... Oh, look at that gorgeous hair. Okay. Oh, getting kind of caught up there. It might be a part in which maybe I forgot to... Why well, didn't that blow dry that side as good or something? I don't know. Oh, perfectionist in the house. Got to go back and do it again. All right. Almost done, almost done. All right, and now I'm combining those two once again into one braid. That way, the only thing that we have to put into a man bun is two braids. It's a lot easier than five. Of course, the child got to fill all on it. Okay, so <laughs> there's the two braids. Got me a rubber band. Just need a little tiny rubber band. Nothing major. Put in a little bun. Yeah. That's it. Going to try to um, saturate the scalp with a little grease. I think we were using the softy shea butter uh, grease this time. Like I said, it's time for a haircut, but I mean, we don't have any time to get one from now until tomorrow morning when it's time to go to school. So we just going to comb this bad boy down, put some grease on it, and then put on that handy dandy royal do rag almighty do rag <laughs> and there you have it honey you finna go to bed and wake up happy well it squad if you enjoyed this video smash the like button smash the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video and um comment down below what you want to see next bye guys Hehehehe <laughs>